Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the tempo of a song in Ableton Live. I'm going to show you how you can use the tap tempo as well. And then I'm also going to show you how you can change the tempo of a song midway through the song. You can make dynamic changes in the tempo using uh, tempo automation. So if you need to know how to do any of those three things, stick around. So first of all, if you simply want to change the tempo of your song, you'll find the tempo on the top left hand corner. It's this number right here. So you can click on that once and then type in a number using your keyboard. You can also click your mouse on that and drag down or up to change that. I think by increments of one, the faster you drag, the faster it will change. So let's quickly listen to the original tempo of this song. This song was 119 beats per minute. Now, because the vast majority of this song is software instruments um, using MIDI protocol, if I change the tempo, everything should just speed up and there shouldn't be any problems. I don't have any um, rhythmic audio loops or anything like that. I do have a few one hits, but it should just speed up. Now, if you have some audio loops as well um, and they have the warp feature on, they will um, speed up and slow down when you change this tempo. You can also tap in the tempo. So if you've got a rough idea of how fast you want it to be, you can start clicking your mouse on this tap right here um, and it's going to take the speed of the quarter notes you're tapping and detect back the rough um, speed of the tempo that you're trying to achieve. So if I just want to make this a bit slower, I'll go, it'll start playing as soon as it starts detecting, I think the third or the fourth click. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's detected um, the rhythm that I've tapped in roughly. That can be handy if you just want to get a rough idea of how fast your song is beforehand and then adjust it to the next whole number or you can keep it on whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. It does matter if you're exporting it as a loop pack. You want to make sure it's a nice um, 100 or 90 or 95 beats per minute. And the last thing we can do with the tempo is actually change the tempo halfway through the song. To do that, we just have to expand our master track, which is right here using this button. And then we have to enter the automation mode. Uh, you can enter the automation mode by going view and automation mode. A is the shortcut for that, but be careful if you've got this little musical typing keyboard on here, it won't work. If you hit A, you have to switch that off. And now I can just hit that A button and I'll view any automation I have in this song. So you can see here um, under the automation on the master track, if we select this top menu and select mixer, normally that will be via default, it will be on track volume. But you can see if I click on that bottom menu underneath the mixer, we've got track panning, track volume, song tempo. Uh, so that's what we can click there. And so if we wanted our song to speed up halfway through, you can click on this red line to make a break point. So let's say it starts at 119 and I want it to gradually change to 131. This is what that will do. I might actually make this a bit faster so we can really hear the effect. Let's try it here. Okay, so there's some weird uh, pitching effects happening there uh, in my software instrument, but you get the idea. Now you can do a hard change as well at a certain point. If I use this little, um, if I use this magnifying glass up here, click and zoom in. So I'm just clicking in this uh, ruler area, holding the mouse down and pulling down to zoom in. We can make another node and that node can be sitting directly on top of the other one for an instant change in the tempo. 
So if we want it to change instantly there, let's have a listen to what that will sound like. So you can have a gradual ramping like that, or you can have an instant change. And if you want to get rid of one of these nodes, simply click on it a second time. That will get rid of the node. And you can also select an area like this and just hit the delete button and it will delete all the automation when you're in automation mode. So that's everything to do with the main tempo, tapping in the tempo and also changing it dynamically midway through the song. I will make another video um, about warping and changing the, or the tempo of an actual audio sample and, find it, and how to find out the tempo of an audio sample. Uh, once I've finished that video, I will leave it in the description of this video. Um, if that's what you're interested in or if you think you might want to know how to do that, you can watch that video as well. Make sure you check out my free Ableton Live Starter Pack, which is a three-part free video course giving you a crash course in Ableton Live. And you also get a free sample pack um, for viewing that course. I will leave the link in the description. Also, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.